With an increase in toxic burning plastics and smoke, Clearwater Fire and Rescue is dedicated to preventing occupational cancer exposure through the use of on-scene gross decontamination. To begin, the suppression driver should set up the decontamination area near the incident commander with a cone. Then, connect the nozzle, supply the line with idle pressure, fill the spray bottle with water and the appropriate amount of soap. All fire personnel involved in the fire should exit the structure, stay on air, and report to the decontamination area. Determine who has the least amount of air and that their bunker gear is sealed before decontamination. Personnel should be sprayed with water from helmet to boot, then scrubbed with a soft bristle brush, soap, and water. After completing decontamination, personnel may go off air, remove PPE, and use department-provided decontamination wipes to clean their hands, arms, neck, and face. When arriving back at the station, personnel should shower immediately to complete the decontamination process. By using this method, we can reduce our exposure to carcinogens and promote a healthier fire service. To accomplish this, though, we have to be willing to adapt to new processes and change past behaviors.